Thank you once again for joining us. This is uh, Slime Media TV online and thank you for the support. What you need to do is to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that every time we post something you will never miss some of these informative uh, programs. And also on Facebook what you need to do is to click that button like or follow so that every time we get we go live you will get a notification remember we are also live streaming on other several social uh, media platforms if you can't find us on youtube and on facebook remember to follow us on twitter instagram and linkedin you can also watch some of our small and interesting uh, video clips on our uh, tiktok what are we talking about today? We are talking about uh, the current uh, political situation and we are mainly focusing on the opposition. Do we have a formidable opposition in the country that can uh, challenge the ruling party, uh, uh, ZANU-PF? What has triggered uh, this conversation? It is a post on X by uh, former uh, Senator uh, Morgan uh, Komich. He is also the former O. He is still the national chairperson of the opposition movement for democratic change. Just some uh, few hours ago, he posted with a picture of the late uh, Morgan Richard Changrai. This man led the opposition movement for 18 years. ZANPF failed to destroy MDC. What has gone wrong now that ZANU-PF with five, within five years has destroyed two major opposition political parties, MDC and Triple C? Think outside the box. We are overrating ZANU-PF. Confirm, uh, Morgan Komich, that this is your Twitter handle, your post, your ex handle. Uh, definitely. Confirmed. It is. I do confirm. You do confirm. Uh, yes. Uh, um, in your own opinion, you have been with, um, within the uh, politics for close to 20 years now. And from your post, you said Morgan Changrai led uh, the opposition MDC for 18 years and Zanupia failed. You were part of that movement with the late Shangrai. You are part of those that has been there within five years. We are not going to focus on five years, the 18 years. I want to focus on where things have gone wrong. I want to start with you, uh, Senator, in your own opinion. Let's not talk about those that are not here. Let me focus on you. Where do you think as a political leader yourself gone wrong. What do you think you did wrong that led or that gave ZANPF you know, that leeway to destroy the opposition? Uh, thank you so much, Robert. Mm -hmm. uh, Morgan Shangrai left a bar mm -hmm. that we failed to match up with. Mm -hmm. I think he's, he left standards which, which are beyond us and uh, we are still far away from reaching the level that Morgan Shangrai was running the opposite movement mm -hmm. that I want to admit. Mm -hmm. Because this man, as I said, he led opposition for 18 years. Mm -hmm. That was the time when Zanupiv was brutal. Mm -hmm. Remember, Zanupiv used to kill. So it's, 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 it's no longer brutal? It, it, it's, it was worse than what it is today. Oh, okay. But it's still two, brutal. It, was, this was, mm -hmm. it was worse mm -hmm. than what it used to do. Because remember, during that time, a several or many people passed on, many houses were burned, mm -hmm. many, people were, many women were raped. And many, and many people, you know, fled this country into into the, into South Africa and, and other countries. So it was a most the most difficult time of our political career. Mm. But Mugen Chandra stood firm, firm, and he managed to protect his party from Zanupiv abuse. Mm. Immediately after his death, immediately mm. after his death, <laughs> let me go back slightly, mm. three months before. Morgan Changrai left MDC intact. Okay. Uh, he had these challenges with the, his former his friends, mm -hmm. the BTs and the Nguyen's. But before he died, he brought them together and reconstituted the, the original MDC in 1999, mm -hmm. as it was. That was BT and Nguyen came together. Mm -hmm. 
and he left the part in that mm -hmm. with great hope and expectation. People really felt you know change was coming. They saw change on the horizon. Mm -hmm. They saw it on the horizon. Mm -hmm. And they were people were so hopeful that if Changrai had stood in 2018 elections, he was going to be the he was going to be the next president. Mm -hmm. People with that confidence. Mm -hmm. But immediately after his death, that was he died on the 14th of uh, February. February 2018. Mm -hmm. Immediately his great wake of the MDC was shattered. How? The leadership that took over us, that took over from him, mm. made a very big mistake. We, uh, 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 no. no. Uh, I want you to be part of this. Yes, we made a very Yeah, yeah I don't say they, we. I, I do agree with yeah. you. <laughs> we made a very big mistake. Mm. The question was very clear. Mm. What was supposed to be? To, to have been done to get the success of Mokitra. Mm. We violated that. Mm. And within us, mm. some people said, as Naba said, mm. there's no need for the constitution. Mm. Some of us said, we want the constitution to be followed. Mm. One group went to the court. Mm. And the matter was before the court. And the judgment was that. Tokozan Kupi went to court. Right? Yes, of course. Yeah. The team that, yes. that, that was uh, with the Tukuzan Kupi went, went, to, went to court. To court. Uh. And to challenge the uh, the Chamisa team, which did not want to go to court, mm. the judgment was passed on, mm. and that judgment was on split MDs. Mm. But it was already split. Uh, mm. Yes, it was. But it was mm. formally it, 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 it was formally split by mm. the judgment mm. because it then uh, declared that uh, these yes. particular people were right, and these uh, particular people were wrong. Uh, so that made other group of people to take another route. Uh, other people took another route. Uh, which route did you take? I took the constitutional route. Okay. I believed strongly in the in the in the constitution of the party. Mm. I I didn't mind who was going to be right. Let's let's let's. I, let's, I believe in the yeah. constitution of the party. Senator, let's. I hope this is a, an open and frank is, discussion, it is, it is. and uh, probably it's high time that you should give us in an in, in insight on some of the things that happens. You know, within political parties or within the political field that we don't know, vis-a-vis -vis the legal issue. When the judgment was passed on the day of the judgment. You and uh, Douglas Monzora, you had a brief uh, address there. It seemed like, from the eyes of you know the public opinion, you knew about the judgment. Any normal person mm. would know about the judgment mm. because we had the High Court judgment before, mm -hmm. and the judgment was so clear mm. that a mistake was done. Mm. And I personally, with other guys, advised the leadership that the appeal would not make any sense. You advise Nelson Chamisa. Yes, of course. Yes. But the appeal would not make any sense, would not win it, mm -hmm. because the judgment is very clear, mm -hmm. because we violated the section of our constitution, mm -hmm. which, which describes clearly what should be done mm -hmm. when a president demises. Mm -hmm. A process is very clear. Mm -hmm. An acting president should take over, yes. and within a period of 12 months, mm -hmm. you must go for an the Congress mm -hmm. to look for, mm -hmm. a, for a replacement. That is clear. You don't need to appeal against this. Mm -hmm. You will not win. Mm -hmm. So we advise this. So and, you went to, we made the, I, to the Supreme Court prepared. Some of, some of us, we made a decision on that particular day. When we advised in the mm -hmm. advice, the advice was not taken. Mm -hmm. We said, if the, if the Supreme Court judgment mm -hmm. maintains this position, mm -hmm. We will respect it. Okay. We will respect the constitution, the the, the, the root of the of the constitution. Mm -hmm. It was actually a decision made out mm -hmm. of after having been advised, and the advice was not taken. Okay. And we said no. Let us stand with the right thing. Mm -hmm. And you did that. You see, and, and we did that. Mm -hmm. We did that. In any situation, you always pre-plan. Mm -hmm. You don't you, you don't go. You don't approach a situation and plan. Mm -hmm. You always <coughs> pre-plan. Mm -hmm. If it works like this. What should I do? If it comes out like this, what should I do? Mm -hmm. So we were prepared. We had just made a plan. Mm -hmm. Because according to the judgment, I could judge my friend. It, it was so clear. Okay. That was, was so While is you're making a plan, did you approach Coupe and say, if the judgment comes in your favor, we are joining you? Or it was from that day, that's when you said, Coupe, we are coming to your side? Yes, of course. We, we, when the decision was. The advice was not taken. Mm -hmm. We had to then go mm -hmm. and say, ah, we must go to the East of the Congress. Mm -hmm. That's the only way mm -hmm. to save our part. Mm -hmm. The Constitution would keep us united. Mm -hmm. If we do not follow the Constitution, we'll be divided. Mm -hmm. 
So definitely, what then happens is that the people who think like-minded, like them, like minds with the would group, the people that are not like-minded will mm -hmm. also take their work aside. And that was the process that was already splitting the party. Yes, but like-minded people, you went to the Congress, but it was chaotic. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yes. How then the like-minded ended up disagreeing, you know, to follow the same constitution because what happened in the, it's we, on record. We, we still don't condone that. Mm. We still don't condone that. We need to be, to respect the constitution mm. through and through. Mm. The moment you don't follow the constitution, mm. the people will not follow you as well. That's why today, you see the people that also didn't follow the constitution, people are not following them because people are, they are very serious about the constitution of the party. They want us, to, they want you to really respect the constitution. If you do not follow it, people, they won't follow it. But so my question is, how then, like you said, like-minded people, where is your like-minded when you did not do what you're supposed to do, follow the constitution? Because after that, the, the, the ruling said you're supposed to go for an extra congress, which you did. But what happened there? Is that part of following what the like-minded people, you know, agreed on? Yes, of course. Within the like-minded people, mm. you would also expect other people that are good. <laughs> they, they, they can be found. <laughs> people that would pretend yeah. to be like-minded, yeah. yet they would also want to do the same thing yeah. that we fought against. Yeah. So what we then saw mm. on the EOC and other congresses yeah. was actually the repeat of what we tried to correct. Yes, good. Yes, and good. Senate, tried to you, then you remained with that, within that, you know, uh, faction of the people that did not respect uh, the, 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 you, the constitution of your party and you endorsed, you become a national chairperson of that political party. Yes, of course. Why? Yes, of course. Mm. You want to correct things. Sometimes you want to correct things with it. Mm. We had debates and we had meetings mm. to raise some of those things. Immediately after the EOC was raised, mm. we sat down with the Honorable Missouri. Mm. I sat down with Honorable Kute. And discuss the matter. Mm. And they said, okay, let's try to correct things. Let's see whether things will change. Mm. Let us move forward. Otherwise, we'll continue to split the part over and over again. Mm. Let us try to correct with it. And we agreed to correct with it. Mm. We agreed to compromise some of the things that were there. Hoping that things will change. But why didn't you do the same with the, your East West friends? You know, after the Supreme Court ruling, they said, okay, this is what has been said. Let's agree because we don't want the party to continue to split. Let's invite our friends, sit the, on the same table, the and effort, move forward. The effort was that. Okay. Let's follow the judgment. Mm -hmm. Actually, the people that are afraid of this Congress would win. Mm -hmm. The effort was that. It's not that people didn't put effort. But you know, when people made their decision, people would make their mind. So the efforts were they done were, privately. Yes, of course. Okay. People would meet and say, let us do this. Why should we allow this split? Because we knew that the split itself will have negative consequences on the movement. Uh, Senator Komich, can we not say when the late Morgan Changrai passed on, he left a group of power-hungry politicians, you know, who never wanted to listen or follow anyone? Nelson Chamisa, Elias Muzuri, Morgan Komich, Tokozani Kupe, Douglas Monzora, uh, and the others who may not have one did not want to be the president but they knew if I support Morgan Komich I might be his vice or his national chairperson. Of the five that I've mentioned, are you not a group of power hungry individuals who have contributed to the destruction of MDC? Let's forget about other external forces. Let's focus on the five of you. Elias Muzuri, Tokuzani Kupe, Morgan Komich, Nelson Chamisa and Douglas Monzo. That's why I'm saying Morgan Shangrai, when he passed on, mm. he left a group of incompetent people. <laughs> we are incompetent. Yes. The fact that right now as we stand before Zimbabweans, mm. the opposition movement is so weak. Mm. Yet, some years back when Morgan Shangrai was still alive, mm. the opposition movement was so strong. Yes. So, so the, I hear you on that the, one. The leadership I... that was left by Morgan Shangrai yes. was actually incompetent. Uh, incompetent and power hungry. Yes, because... All of you. Yes, All of, of you, you yes, what you wanted yes, to do, yes, regardless of what is yes, happening, you wanted just to be the, I, that old seat. Power, power was the issue. Mm. Power was the issue. Mm. So people had to do something unconstitutional because of the power. Mm. 
People were to use all funny tricks because of the power. People were to dupe or cheat other people because of the power. People did not look at the bigger picture. People did not look at the, the survival of the opposition movement. People did not look at the, the people's lives. People did not care about the youth. People did not care about all countries. People did not care about the economy. People did not care about the reforms. People did not care about democracy. People did not care about issues that we, that we had established the MTC for. There were certain issues that we established the MTC for, which we completely neglected and ignored. We became worse than the devil. We were actually fighting. So in other words, all of you, the five of you, you were just waiting for the demise of uh, Morgan Changa, so that you... We were not waiting for the demise. Mm. We incompetently executed our jobs. Mm. We incompetently did our roles. We com incompetently... We, when people are doing something, when a person who is incompetent does something, mm. he or she thinks that is doing the right thing, we will see by the results. <laughs> when the results are poor, then we say, this woman or this man is very incompetent. Uh. Right now, opposition movement is about MDC is completely dead. Mm. It was led by a very incompetent leader. Mm. The, 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 the triple C at the moment is you cannot touch where it is. Mm. You don't know where, where triple C is. Mm. Where is it? Who is what? Who is doing what? Who is doing what? It was incompetently led as well. Mm. So, Collectively, the opposition movement in Zimbabwe is actually at its lowest level, mm. which therefore means the leadership that took place, that, 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 that came to lead these movements, mm. were, are incompetent. We must agree, mm. Inclu including me as well. Yes. I was also playing a role. I did incompetently. Mm. To, 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 I contributed to this, mm. but I must agree. And I do believe when you identify your mistake mm. and you are prepared to correct it, mm. That's, but but how come during good. that time? How come during that time, Senate, we did not see you publicly, you know, saying, "Ladies and gentlemen, what we are doing is wrong." Under MDCT, under the MDC Alliance, because your silence, is, your silence, Senator, led to where always, your party. There's, there's always the time for everything. There are certain times if you talk sense, mm -hmm. people they will think they will think you are stupid or you are mad. Mm -hmm. Remember, when we raised the issues of socialism immediately after or during this judgment, mm. we were castigated. We were labeled as of sellers. Mm. We were labeled all sorts of names. It was the wrong. But thing. were the people wrong? It was, it, it was, it was the wrong. Ah, but they, they were well, well, wrong. Well, we and can't say they are wrong when that tag remained I mean, with you and I mean, the results I mean, that followed, say, events that that's followed. Why I, <laughs> that's why I talk of the time. Mm. There's always a time. When you should say something, sometimes you rather keep quiet mm -hmm. for many people to see the truth. Mm -hmm. You the people say, "When I went, I should not so much yet." Mm -hmm. So if you want to save yourself, mm -hmm. wait until many dogs have opened the eyes, mm -hmm. then you can start talking. This is the time now we are talking mm -hmm. to power, the truth to power, mm -hmm. because we now know that many people are now seeing the truth, mm -hmm. the same truth that we had seen it before ourselves. The same truth that we saw three, four years ago is the same truth today which is also being seen by other people today. So we, during that time, mm -hmm. we used to talk in both ways. As, as I have already admitted to you, mm -hmm. that when the judgment came out, I got judgment, we held meetings, several meetings to advise each other. Mm -hmm. It was not going to be normal for you as one of the leaders to come out in public and say, I've, I've advised so and so, is refused to listen. That is not normal. It's not normal in any life. People always hope that things will change in the future. The same thing. But now, we are not talking the truth to power. We, we have done that. I think with the Douglas Monzora on the 14th of June, mm. uh, remember 2023, I came out openly. Mm. He has failed. He has failed us. He has betrayed the revolution. I think he should step down. We, we said that. So we, we talked to the, to the, the truth to, to the power at different locations. But I don't want anyway to say uh, I'm the best or whatever, mm. but I want to say collectively, yes, of course, that we learned. Yeah, I, I want we to I, I, I want we to learned. focus Senator, on the tag of this is an NPF party, you know, that ended up with your party, MDC. Were the people wrong? The, 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 the people, mm. I think, globally. when you. Global. Under your leadership and that of Douglas Monzor. Yes. Or let, under the let, let us be very clear. Yeah. Under the Douglas the Douglas leadership. 
Yes, which we were the, part of is the, the, the national the chairperson. Under the tag of leadership. The tag that is, this they, is a ZANU PF project they were correct. became pop. No, oh, they, yes. they were correct. Okay. They were correct. Yeah. But what I want to say is mm. that was the Douglas leadership. Because in the Douglas leadership, mm. there are certain events which some of us protested. Mm. For example, you know very well the only person who voted against the amendment, the, the, Malaba, the, the Malaba amendment, the number two, number two mm. was Morgan Comish. Mm. I said no. Mm. Douglas said yes. He whipped other MPs to vote with ZANPF. Why? I said I will not vote with ZANPF. But why, why, did, not, why did Douglas uh, do that? Because you said the tech. You wouldn't mention about the tech. You would not imagine that was a ZANPF project. And people saw that. So oh, that I'm saying, how, how did people come to tell oh, that man was 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 unpaid because of the events that were taking place? And I'm giving you this, the the events right now, uh -huh. the events that took place in Parliament in which he voted with Zanupia, uh -huh. uh, qualified him uh -huh. to be labeled Zanupia uh -huh. light uh -huh. because he voted Zanupia. Uh, on the amendment. Yes, number, but number two. Yeah, after the the, the whipping and the voting. You went to the, you, you, you obviously weekly could, or monthly yes, could have those meetings. Yes, it was. What was discussed I, in I, that I meeting? I raised it again. Uh -huh. I said to them, in my own words, uh -huh. if you receive a letter from ZANU-PF or from Omenangagwa, uh -huh. to be specific, uh -huh. inviting you to the state events uh -huh. or the state house, uh -huh. don't phone me uh -huh. because I'm not ZANU-PF. Uh -huh. I told them officially. They went to the state house. I was not there. What did the others they say went, in, that, in that meeting? They, they went. Let me tell you, let me, let me be honest with you. Yeah. I was the only person who stood in that position. Okay. The only one who stood in that position. Mm. Just as, as I was the only one again in parliament mm. who voted against uh, the amendment, the bill number two. I was the only one. Speaking so, to your colleagues so, so, within the so, parliament. So, yeah. so, while it's still in the same team, mm. but I want to, if there's anyone who can challenge me, mm. can come before this country. I said these words. That's why today, even if you open up all the uh, answered. Vi videos, mm. answered of the Hero Seca mm. or uh, Independence event or whatever, you will never see my face there because I never went. Well, as the majority of the people mm. went, that's something else. I'm saying you can still advise people, mm. but people will choose to take it or not to take it. Yes, uh, without mentioning names, what was the general atmosphere or wh what was you know, coming from the other members of parliament and senators, you know, we are or we have voted, you know, in support of this amendment. You know, in, obviously the whipping system is there, but you watch Taurao, Senator Ma, Mega Muru, Totuku Ba, Murumwa Kofi, why do you watch Chi, but you support a Chino each? Problem never and I took a parliament, watch what you call it. Some of the people who do things that they don't even believe in. Mm. Some of the people would be uh, would, would fear to think about our imagination. called. Uh, so the incumbent uh, as a leader has got influence uh, over his followers. Uh, people would always do what the leader does, says. Uh, That's why sometimes other leaders do not matter much uh, in an organization like an opposition, but they can do whatever they do. But the analogy that I can give you is of a train and uh, and uh, and coaches. Uh, Trucks, matro, mm -hmm. matro, yeah. The head of the trade decides everything. Whatever the the, the matro would want to do, the coaches would. Chakang obira mo jang chichete. Chakot buda. Chakot aswa. That's actually politics. So the leader determines yeah. the success or the failure of the organization. Totally, 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 totally. So in other because ways, the leader is the visionary. Yeah. If he takes up a vision. And if you want sometimes to oppose open that vision, you are castigated, you are fired, you are doing anything else. Even you will try to advise with it. But if the leader says no, what can you do? Just like let me tell you one thing. Analogy. Uh, what's my way? Look up to a rage, I wonder who pay you way. So let Baba Musa tell you. Baba don't do this. That's my way to go to the back. As what's my way never came out in public or in the street. You say, no, Robert, I'm not going to but what I'm going to tell you, when I was it. Uh uh, that's not life. The normal life is that. No, Zana with him, Mbami, Baba Kambu Kuza. Right. So, this is what also happens in politics. You can still advise a leader, and a leader will not take it. Let's go on the issue of records. You have said, Wangwana Gwachichka, which were a record, even they end up doing things that they don't believe in. 
In other words, Zimbabweans are electing the wrong people to represent them. Zimbabweans are electing poli po, um, uh, po, uh, uh, political uh, people who, de who does not have anything to do besides politics, career politicians. If we are to elect someone who is a business but aside to represent our to our constituencies, they will say, Inini kuno you can recall me, you can do anything that you want. I am not going to do this. But Imimi Manjana, Senator Committee, Neguti Amuna Zimu Zinus, Nogupai Choviri, Kupalia Mendi, Doka Tokubas, Kupolitics, Doka Tokubas, Dosa Tengati, Tirikusa Zerevan, who are Tengati Makaria politicians, Asine is a quita Mukatima Upenu, Akutuenda Parliament Kubas. That's not a true statement. Yeah. Because even the people that are in parliament do go their own business. Yeah. But they also don't want to be recalled. They are, they are there right now. Ah, good. What's the secret? What? She, 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 so if you disconnect that, mm. you affect that person. Mm. So it's not about being a business or whatever. No, it's not it. Mm. It's about it's about you. You have your passion for that job. Mm. Your passion to be a, a, a politician. Mm. Passion to be a councillor, to MP. Mm. So if anyone then decides mm. to to obstruct that 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 passion or that vision, as a human being, get affected. So people are worried. Right now, there are business people that are in parliament. Right? Right now, in Zanpio, right. that are in Triple C right yeah. now. But they do not be recalled. I don't they don't be recalled at all. Yeah. So a recall is affects someone's trajectory life, someone's, someone's vision, someone's you know, being is getting affected. So, so people mm -hmm. are affected. So leaders then abuse that, those powers that they have to manipulate or to make sure that certain things are they would always want to play safe. But we have seen um, in the past uh, Douglas Monzora justifying his recalls by saying, I'm not the first one. Uh, Morgan Shankar, I did that. He recalled uh, uh, one or two individuals. So I'm also just doing the same uh, that uh, Morgan Shankar did. In your own opinion, how did the recalls affect MDC it to where it is it today? Has, it affected MDC in a great way. Because uh, people, as they already indicated, that they did label the us our group in the Zambia project. So, according to the people, we were playing the Zambia game. We were, we were fulfilling the Zambia game. And the people, uh, the voters in general, hated us most, more than whatever before. Because they felt strongly that we were doing this for, for Zambia. And again, the debate was done. It's not that the recalls just were implemented. Yeah. A lot of debate was done. Some certain members of parliament who were recalled can witness this. Mm. Some mayors who, who can witness this. The debate was done. Mm. Trying to show the negative effect of recalling certain members of uh, parliamentarians and councillors who were recalled mm. affected my own my personal being. Mm. I was affected. Mm. And uh, I also got labeled mm. within the Douglas Gondola's team as a person who was protecting and, and defending the members of parliament and councillors. Because I was arguing, that's not the best way to do it. Let us engage them. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to them. Mm -hmm. Let's persuade them. Mm -hmm. We need them to, on our side. Yeah. But again, another team was for the idea that let them go. Until I had to produce a video, mm -hmm. which I said, get out of here. That video was strategic. If you take that video which I produced, when I said the people that are supporting Jamisa must go, the people in that time, the people not record. Because initially, I was against the idea of recall. When I then said, let's recall them, the people who were against me felt it was a strategy, so they also stopped recalling people. So, but why did you say they must be recalled? I wanted to say that. Because I knew, I already read that the team that was once against me on the issues of recall, if I say let's recall them, they will not want to follow. They will also they will go against it as well. Okay. But also, Senator, at the end, uh, uh, from you know the, uh, another school of thought, the MDCT or MDC became an opposition to the Jamisa faction. 
not to ZANU-PF. Instead of you know, opposing what ZANU-PF was doing, you ended up opposing what the other opposition was doing. Chese Chamisa this, Chamisa very, this. A very big mistake. A very big mistake. A very big mistake. There are two groups of people in politics, the ruling party people and the opposition fraternity. If you are in the opposition fraternity, you don't need to attack each other in the opposition fraternity. You don't do that. Don't make that mistake. You can be from different political parties within opposition fraternity, but you are related by the term opposition. If you then attack another member of the opposition political party, majority of the opposition people will regard you as sympathizing with the ruling party. Mm -hmm. So what, that was one of the biggest mistakes which Douglas Motola did, mainly in public forum. Mm -hmm. He would spend about 90% of his speeches attacking Chamisa, the G40 thing. Mm -hmm. That's a very big mistake. So the opposition fraternity then found it in a group in the mm -hmm. because he did not know that people are split into two the opposition fraternity and the ruling party fraternity. Mm. So that was a big mistake. If you want to deal with each other in terms of the opposition, you do it in, in, in what you call it, in boardrooms. Mm. But when you come out there, actually in, in some other instances, the opposition must work together. Mm -hmm. In some other instances, the, the opposition must actually meet and share ideas and strategize to deal with the, with the ruling party. Mm. So an opposition leader who is clever or who knows what's about to do should call for the unit of the opposition movement. So that at least you become one family. You can differ on other small issues, mm -hmm. but when you, come, when you come to the major job why opposition was established, mm -hmm. fighting for democracy, fighting for reforms, fighting for the people's issues, jobs, health, the roads, you must stand on the same platform. That was not done by Douglas Nelson. He, he most of, if you go through his YouTube. But again, the question is, mm -hmm. you can open my YouTube during the public <coughs> forums. Mm -hmm. you would not, I would not do that. Whatever I would say would be within the board. Boardrooms get to be dealing with strategies. Mm -hmm. But that is very wrong. I want to admit with you. It was actually wrong to attack Chamisa in public. It was very wrong to attack. It was supposed to be working together with other opposition members to achieve the common goal, to save the people of Zimbabwe, to make sure that way the reforms. Remember during the, the Nearer times, mm. we brought all opposition to the movements mm. to fight for electoral reforms because we knew it was going to, it was a national issue and we needed everybody to then play the game. Yeah. So I want to agree with you. you we, do, we do not need to have MDC attack the people in public. That's but okay. Now, looking at the state of current affairs within MDC, MDC is dead, buried. What is your view on that? It's, it's, Dead, not yet buried. Ah, well, what, it, it is, what, it, what more do you it, want? It is resuscitable. <laughs> it is resuscitable. Ah, we but it's a level. 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 It's a drip is MDC is a political party. I of our 12 provinces politically. Mm. I visited nine provinces, nine mm. provinces, which is Blue Wave, Midlands, North, Midlands, South. Mashingo, Manikaland, Mash East, Mash Central, Mash West, and the mm -hmm. What I have discovered is that MDC is a household brand. Mm -hmm. They know about MDC, they know about its good times. <laughs> and they know about its bad times. <laughs> what they are clear about, <laughs> about their MDC, <laughs> is that the leader who they took off <laughs> was a mess. <laughs> that is very clear. <laughs> But they are saying, in terms of the relationship between MDC and Naivo, one in Noro and one in history, mm. they, they are deaths, they are graves, mm. they are people that were raped, they are people that are disabled, mm. they are homes that are burnt right now, mm. tractors which, are, which, are, which, were, which, which were burnt by Zanu PF, the abuse which they went through, mm. all those things, segregation between Zanu PF, mm. MDC and their hearts, is together. Mm. 
I was in Mbire and I visited the three centers of Mbire. Mm. The people are for MDC, mm. but they are telling us very clearly with the Monzo, mm. that they are very clear about that. In Manika, the same way, in Mashun, the same way, Bulwe, the same way, wherever they say. So it is a question of branding and rebranding. Mm. If in any, in, you know, in marketing, there is what you call uh, rebranding strategies, mm. packaging, whatever, painting, whatever. Mm. You can repackage or you can paint the same product mm. and people can buy it. Mm. So MDC being a household brand, there is a chance of if we get a leader who performs better or like Morgan Shangrai, mm. or just slightly below Morgan Shangrai, mm. people will reconnect because the history is already there. Mm. The, my emotions they are already there. The people, they already know it. So it's actually easier to revive MDC than to form a new party. But I think 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 Ah, kwa chavi. Gati binda iba ni jiji jipa ni. Ndiba, ndiba abu. Ndiba abu. Asi, because akuna option. Vaka asari kwa wani option wani. Nukuti, ya hapo pad. Yanga ya togo wano munu wano kuti mutengesi. Munu, saka baka taa. Isusu ya tipi livi mo jinesu. Mafali za tipi kuona au. Akuti wano munu, asi watu no zero. Chichi ripo yiko shunu chato kuna kuti tiende. Maka wana tipo si ilipo. Because that was the only option. Vaka muva. Asi muyo ya hapo. Yaka, yaka miro, yaka fana ni 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 ngadu bank zamu imirete. Ngadu 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 moti uwe na asuno. My my robot, my robot tora. Madani ramne tayi. Mwana mwenye kuchelewa kwa zorora. Mungu kazi wichipi. Mungu kazi wichipi anu safa. Ndo 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 wapi uwe na my robot. Ndugu tii unengo chungu funga nisho my robot. Shamba ngamu tuto chukana kana kana. Saka that's the same. Amazon no majani tii we've moved on. No no. It's like the same feeling you have to put on right now. Yeah. And really cool. That's why you have to put I want you to get a session right now, especially in, in the raw area, mm. raw areas. Mm. People are still MDC. Mm. They can be CPOC by paint, but in their own hearts, mm. when they look at CPOC, they don't see CPOC, mm. they see MDC. So MDC mm. is still right there in their own hearts. This is the truth of the matter. You can do the research, you can do whatever. Come on, meet a senator and say, okay, because of what you've gone through, uh, I'm just giving an, as an example. We are rebranding and we have rebranded to be triple C. Because uh, reviving MDC, I see you. Let me tell you. When you are researching, it's Actually, 60% of the time the meeting is there, they talk about things that are not there. All right. She's a guy, she's a guy, she's a guy, she's a guy, and we'll be recording. But we'll be talking about MDC, and we'll be talking about MDC. Saka, I'm going to talk about the leadership of the MDC, and we'll be talking about 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 the MDC. I'm going to talk about MDC. <laughs> I know this is I'm telling you, it's now, it's now public knowledge. Uh, Even when I'm saying that now, even panic stroke that. That's why we're going to witness to ever kind. That's why we're going to come on, we're going to MP Zedu, and get the national leadership. We're going to go to 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 the national candidate. Chokuda, Asi. Asi, Douglas Monzora, Magasa Pambiru, Ati Mude, and the way Sam. That message is very clear. It's good to, it will be, they know, they know that in Douglas Monzora, mm. I would pack my bags and go and leave the revolution in the near the politics for some time. Those who are after some time. Mm. But right now, mm. he, he is the only person I would MDC 
it is good yes become like you are saying it is not yafa yeah you can say simply because of moon one but i but i have told you a very simple analogy can i chino chiri brand like tv you are going to use daily tv 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 can i tv iyo tikaita tikaisa china china chai chai ya pam toilet and it come apana muno no gara pamberi pa ndikutsvaga Rini leadership ya rakaburi siwa na wa mwanzo na mazo wa fura. Rinana wana mashakada, wana mpari wa wana lovu, wana wana wa murukuti awasi kufamba ere. Kuma constituents wa chinzu wa zimwechete za murukuti chao. Ayo, they are not, enda kuza ayo, mikuti people are not all brave. ndikutorachopwadi but here being the the so called president uh. is avoiding the national council because they want to remove him. Yeah, they want to look for an acting president to prepare for the next congress ko ko vano ko mvisa ari po here kana handi nyangwa kauya kana kaso yavano ko mviswa chete national council but that's why now this is as we move to my province we are meeting them the people that were addressing the provinces are the leaders who are supposed to come to this national council but they are saying ask who the national council Because according to the constitution, president don't want to win shit there. So he's avoiding. But if I know that we have to move officially disarm and remove from power, so he's no longer the president of MDC. No, he's not. We don't. He's the president of Harvest House. No, I don't know what he what he required. We are now rebuilding MDC. We are regrouping the people with MDC minus the class leader. But since this is going to my vice president, I get my ear. Secretary General, National Chairperson. Amin ni wangu watu kuna pa sapa. Seva siri kubuda kana pa chini kutoa rogo tina yuko. Ba chama chama chini chini kuda chini pa chini. Kwa watu wote ni matitos, ba tega na shule. They are they are not here. Okay. Ba sawa kama kunyera sima nyera mama kaita muina Douglas. So, Senator, what is the way forward for the opposition? There are two stages that we want to pursue. The first stage is to rebuild MDC because we strongly believe that it was just. I am dizzy, but I will try to do it. In the goodi, chini chiga is. Ne ma one landru we taka. That's the first stage. Even before we move to Amrugi, we want to move on there. Give us the time to rebuild MDC. At that kind of time, it will be very soon. You will be seeing the changes on the ground. That is to reconstruct our MDC, and we do believe if we do that, then we are ready. To work with anybody okay. in the country, mm -hmm. uh, we are praying to for for, for stability in Triple C. Mm -hmm. uh, they quickly go over their the internal uh, conflict. Mm -hmm. They must resolve the internal conflict. They must also be ready. And uh, we are also calling upon Manama Duku and Manala Momo, UDM, and uh, many other political parties. Manana Chokopagari Fume, Manana all sorts of people. We want to invite them. We want to collectively come together so that we have an endeavor mm. of the opposition leaders and political parties mm. to really introspect and say, ladies and gentlemen, we can agree here that uh, that opposition movement in Zimbabwe is no more there. Mm. And what can we do, guys, to resuscitate it and move forward? Mm. We, I think if we honestly introspect, we will be able <coughs> to say, Abataka, Outcast on Zambia. I think we can now use our own experiences. The 23 years of experience I've been MGC, Tedai BT, Uloshmi Nguwe, Job Scala, Naru Bume, Maduku, many others, many others, MCD, Banan, all those people. If we can use our 
experiences positively, mm -hmm. we can actually converge and build something new. My, 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 my suggestion is very simple. I let's get an alliance set up. A okay. good alliance is a way, is a modern way of opposing politics in almost all the country. We see this is Africa is taking place, but I'm they are discussing it. It has been implemented in Nana Zambia and uh, HH. They've also implemented it in, in Kenya. Let us now come to that. Even in Zimbabwe here, we had the MTC Alliance, which was almost in an alliance, a broad alliance. Now let us have this kind of a, a discussion among ourselves so that we can save the people of Zimbabwe and save the economy of Zimbabwe and to also make sure that we have a formidable, strong and formidable opposition movement which should challenge ZANU-PF in the next election, 2028. We must make it a resolution that 2028 ZANU-PF must go. It must go. Let us not now allow any excuses. ZANU-PF had died. ZANU-PF had been there. Must see how it been there. That's incompetence. And that's all right. We have not protected our own turf. We have allowed ZANU-PF to infiltrate us because we were not strategic. We were not clever. <laughs> We are not competent. We are not strong. Is the all these excuses? Zanupi, Zanupi. We are overrating Zanupi, but we can block that thing. Zanupi, the guy robber is eight. The guy robber ten not. Mugabe got twenty three percent. Shangri got seventy three point eight percent. We can still do it if we work together. But what I need to call upon right now is the opposition leaders to forgive each other. Let me not look at the debate with any head. Let me not look at no head any head. So much can any head. No, 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 no. That's not the time. This is the time to come together. And let us pause it to digitize the experience that we have had to form a broader alliance. Currently, we've already shared ideas. Uh, I will not give details. Okay, all but right. But at least there are inroads where leaders are talking to each other about the need to come together. And we want the nation to support this idea. The, the society to support this idea. The church to support this idea. Because we need to have an established broad alliance in which we want to come out with the single president come to the elections we support one person and I can assure you 2028 ZANPF is going to go. Okay. Coming to Job Skull, I've seen you on uh, one or two occasions visiting him and um, posting on Twitter. How is he? And he's what okay. is his message to he, Zimbabwe? He's okay. He's a brave young man. Very strong indeed. Determined. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was expecting to see a very worn out person, born out leader. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was surprised. He's quite in good health. He was very strong and he's determined. And, uh, I've, as I already appealed in, in the last video, I still appeal that Job Scala is a good candidate for the bear. Mm -hmm. Job Scala's crime is not as bad as the crime that was witnessed in, by rapists and uh, armed robbers mm -hmm. and uh, other you know, criminals. Job scholar's case is not out of the norms. Job scholar deserves to be given a bail, should be tried from home. And Job scholar is not a person who will run away from Zimbabwe. You should forget about it. It's a brave man. You would want to see his case through because he, he believes that he didn't commit it. So what I want to appeal to the powers that be right now is to to respect the Zimbabwean constitution, to be democratic in nature at least to provide social justice to the men and allow him to get the bail. Uh, I, I still believe that the president has got the powers of amnesty. He should do really exercise on this one right now. The same applies with, with Ngari Fume. Ngari Fume, as I said in my video, Ngari Fume uh, called for demonstration, uh, talked very well with the, with the vision of the president of the country right now. We know Wamnanga is a person who is very anti-corruption, he doesn't want corruption at all. And he has acted on many other leaders who have been corrupt. And surprisingly, Jack Mungarumi said, let us all come in, demonstrate against the corruption, which, which is exactly, he was calling for the vision 28 of the president. Surprised, surprisingly, he's currently serving four years in jail. Why? And I say again to the president of the country, he should exercise his mercy as a president. The young man is not guilty at all. Should be actually Do you think you will listen? The president? I have done my job. I have done my job. Uh, the, peop the, the people have described, some people have described 
President Mnangagwa is a listening president. I don't know whether it's only listening from some people who alone. Uh, but what is it or, that or, what is it or, that they have said that he has listened? I don't know about oh, him. Oh, okay. But yeah. I'm <coughs> testing that. Mm. Uh, I am a member of the opposition political party. Yeah? I'm testing that uh, sincerity. Mm. If he's listening, he should, he should be listening to what I'm asking to do right now. Mm. He should do this. Job scholar should get a bail, should be tried from home, and that information should be released. Mm. I don't think he committed any crime. Calling for a national demonstration is not democratic, it's not constitutional. Mm -hmm. We've got a constitution, is section 54 by 59, 54, which says uh, Zimbabweans are allowed to demonstrate as long as it is peaceful. Mm -hmm. And that is what is essentially said. We need a peaceful demonstration. So, are we saying uh, is continued in Kasarishin? You know, the constitution says this, the judges are saying this. What's going on? I, I, I mean, on the ground, from your own opinion, as a citizen, uh, fair trial, you know, justice, but why is it it's those, not happening on now? Those are the values we are fighting as opposition. Fighting for justice, uh, fighting for fair trials, fight, fighting for the constitutionalism, fighting for democracy. And as opposition, we must put pressure on the government to respect those values. <laughs> that is one of the issues that we must, as opposition people, rise up and say the, the government must respect this thing. So, on issues of job scar, the constitution gives the rights of the prison, mm. of the arrested, of the accused. Is there. Mm. Respect that section of the constitution. Mm. He has served more than 500 years, in certain days. Mm. It's unfair for a person to be incarcerated for more than 500 days, mm. for fair being denied to get bail because of inciting violence. Can you compare inciting violence to a person who is armed, armed robbed? Uh, Someone, someone and someone who has raped a woman, mm. and those people who have um, robbed and who have raped, and they, they are being given bail. That is that is a, that is uh, unjust. Mm. It's unfair, and we are demanding that the government should look at those things. Mm. So, with as we conclude, with the groundwork that you are doing as um, as in a politician, you are trying to unite. Uh, the opposition political leader, so that come the next few years, you know, you could speak with one voice and you have probably one strong uh, opposition political party. Are they listening to you as well? Can we, are we, or should the electorate expect something better from the current leaders within the opposition uh, political party? I wanted to guarantee and give total confidence to the electorate, mm -hmm. to have faith in my, in my ways. Because the leaders <laughs> that we are talking about them right now have led. They've led. They've tried to work as groups. Mm -hmm. It has failed. They tried to work to work as individuals. It has failed. We are currently fragmented. Mm -hmm. The worst ever fragmentation we have witnessed in Zimbabwe. We're going through it now. So if every leader, wherever he is right now, wherever she is right now, she's thinking. He's thinking. Are we doing the right thing? Yeah. Is there anything better than unity? Is there anything better than broad alliance? Yeah. And I know in their own hearts, some of them have spoken to them. They are for the idea. Okay. Some of them even said, we don't care who becomes the leader. What you want is to bring the people together mm -hmm. for the bigger picture, for the broad alliance. So the, the response that, that I've got for the people that have to do is quite impressive, mm -hmm. hopeful. So I want the people, uh, the general public, to have faith in this agenda. And they must also support it. Mm -hmm. They must also endorse it wherever they are. If they're in the society, please endorse. If you're in a church, please endorse. If you're in other political parties, please endorse. Mm -hmm. Because that's the only solution that can save the political quagmire uh, of our own country. So what are the qualities of a political leader that the electorate should look forward to, you know, to the, lead that broader land? The opposition movement needs, has got a template. Mm. <clears throat> One of the most vital characteristics of a leader that you, you recommend is a unifier. Mm. Is to have the spirit of love to unite people. It's not easy. That's why people will see people fragmented this. We are people pushing each other from the position. Say, Wakura, this is mad, this is what, what. It's coming from this evil spirit of disintegration. 
So the person who should expect the person who is with is, is, is the spirit of unification. One characteristics, very strong. Another one is a person who understands clearly opposition politics. Don't allow yourself to be dragged into ZANU-PF in politics. Remain solid with the people that are suffering. Like Mogin Shandi, like as an example, 18 years. So you must represent the issues of the people in public. Talk to the power. Talk the truth to the power. Challenge ZANU-PF in open land. The other characteristics is a person who is prepared to confront ZANU-PF head on. That is missing so far. Yes. That element is missing. We, the last time we saw this element was when Mogen Shangela was alive. With this death, the element is gone. That's the most important characteristics which we missed and which we are going to be looking for and which, which we want. A person who is not prepared, to, who is not afraid of death, incarceration, torture, or abuse. A person who is brave, we learn these things from Jesus. When Jesus was signed by his father to come and effect change on this country, from Old Testament to New Testament, he confronted the system. He talked, he, 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 he talked the truth to the, to the power. He acted on the ground. He prayed to God. He was abused. He was tortured. He was killed. That's leadership. If we don't get that kind of a person or that person to lead us in this movement, we will be going to parliament to create two jobs. We don't want a leader who creates two jobs, the job of a parliamentary and the job of a councillor, while it's the public in general continue to languish in abject for that. That we don't want. We want a leader who is prepared to die for the people to be crucified for the people, so that the people of Zimbabwe would one day enjoy the prosperity of their own country, the economy of their country to provide. So this is what well, this is what say as we move around, as we interact, let pray, let's pray to God to help us identify the person I have described. And as we conclude uh, to the viewers, when are you going to retire from politics? Time will tell. I do not to pray and still have the job to do. The job that I've described right now before you, I want to see it fulfilled. <laughs> when that is done, we can meet again and talk about the time. Mm. But right now, we still have the job to unite people of Zimbabwe. We still have the job to build a strong opposition. I still feel the energy. I still feel the passion that, even at my age, mm. I can still contribute. I can still help. To bring the real opportunity uh, Probably by the time you come back, a young journalist will be interviewing me because I want to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Don't retire, Robert. The job that is before us in this experience. That is the experience. You need to bring the young generation, the generation together so that they can interact at all levels, at the person level, the government level, and everything. There must be osmosis of the young generation, the old generation. Because experience and the new generation also to help to build up a better thing. If you chuck away the old generation and go along with the young generation, you will not benefit from the experience. So this is what probably is lacking in the current opposition movement. The old generation is quiet, it's not being included. That's a very big mistake. Include them with time and time. <laughs> there you had it. Uh, if you differ with um, Morgan Komich, this is uh, the platform. You can also come and show you share your ideas. If you agree with him, you can still come and add more. But you have heard from him. He says he still have a job to do so that at least you will leave a legacy that one day when he sits and looks back, he will say, I made mistakes and corrected them when I still had a time. This is a Slime Media. Slime Media, building bridges. My name is Robert Tuffman.